What's going on, guys? Um, hey, so we had this uh, terrorist attack in Paris, and uh, the website I go to uh, pretty much on a daily basis is uh, Guns Save Lives uh, .org. I think it's .org. Um, it, you get a lot of information there about you know uh, gun uh, statistics and stories that you don't hear through uh, your standard media um, because they don't go towards their anti-gun stance. Um, and they asked the question, do you think a concealed carrier uh, in that uh, newsroom or that magazine place with that uh, these, these terrorist Islamics attacked would have uh, made a difference? And they, yeah, they've got a little uh, survey down there. Um, so I wanted to put my two cents in, and uh, you know I want to ask you your your opinion as well. Now I watched the video, and the videos, you know, depending on your your stomach and your your thoughts, can be graphic because it does show them blatantly just uh, uh, kill a cop, and it's I mean, it's nothing close up. You don't see any blood or anything like that, but that's what happens, and it's it's really sad. But um, so be careful if if you're real real touchy to that stuff. Uh, but it shows that they are carrying what looks to be AKs. Um, they're all in black. They do look pretty organized for what little video there is. But the videos from somebody, a bystander that's up on like the second or third floor, uh, looking down from a balcony or a rooftop or something like that. But they're only like second, maybe third floor up at the highest, I would guess. Um, so I look at that, and you don't know at what stage of the game it is that this is happening it looks like it's probably the end because they end up getting into a car and driving now they drive to another point i don't know i don't have enough research on it to know but here's the way i look at it whether that person that's filming had a firearm uh i think that could have made some sort of difference would it have stopped it maybe maybe not depends on their training their ability and their pressure and i don't care who you are how much of a badass you think you are of course if you've been through serious combat that probably makes a difference i have not so i can't say and i won't attempt to try and act like i know what it's like like some people seem to like to do uh but if you're like me and you haven't been in a you know combat situation uh where people are firing back on you uh i'm sorry i i would hope that i could uh, react right but I might be the first one hiding behind a puppy. You never know until you're there. Uh, let's just be factual and put down your egos and, you know, all that crap. So if you're able to stand up to it, I think it, it could make a difference because I believe that no matter who you are, if there's ammo flying at you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change the way you do things, whether it's, you know, for the good or the bad or whatever, that might have made a difference. Now, if there had been uh, somebody with a concealed weapon, inside the place uh, I think the same goes it would have had they stood up and used it used it it would have made a difference uh, of some sort uh, possibly worse but I think it probably would have made a difference in the better maybe taking them off their game a little bit uh, I, I'm not sure it's just just kind of a guess uh, but the problem is is that you'll never know because this was France no concealed carriers there not legal ones anyways and uh, lord knows the, the terrorists had illegal guns i'm sure that's a big surprise to you right now um but my feeling is yes uh a concealed carrier uh would have made a difference in some shape or form i believe for the positive not necessarily stop the whole thing but for the positive in some way would have been good all right so i'd like to hear what you think about it post your comments down below and uh let me know what you think all right y'all talk to you later and uh have a good one